Hi there. Uh, so this time we're going to be doing separable DEs or separable differential equations in this little tutorial. And I'm going to break them down into three basic steps. The first step being um, separate, um, the second step being integrate, and the last step being satisfy any initial conditions um, if they're given. Um, so we're going to start with a, an example here. So if you were given this DE, where it's simply uh, x squared plus 1 multiplied by dy by dx, um, and that equals xy. And if you're given the initial conditions of when x equals 0, y equals 0, those are rather standard, um, simple, not that um, unusual to see of initial conditions. Sometimes they're not even given. Then you would uh, just leave out step 3. But step 1 is separate. Um, and what you want to do is get all of the y's on one side and all of the x's on the other side. Now it's not always x and y, so in general you want to get all of one of the variables on one side and all of the other variables on the other side. So first what I've done here is just divided the uh, x squared plus 1 over to the right hand side. Um, now I'm not done yet because you can see x and y is on the left and the right, both of them. So what you want to do is um, isolate those variables on their own. So if you divide that y over from the right hand side and multiply the dx from the left hand side up um, on each side, they can't, the y's cancel on the right hand side and leaves with 1 over y dy equal to x over x squared plus 1 dx. Now that's your separate step um, all done. We're going to move on to um, step 2 which is integrate. Now if you integrate one side, you have to integrate both sides. Um, and the reason we've done this, the separate step, the first step, is so that we're integrating something um, with respect to the same variable. So we have a dy on the left hand side and it's 1 over y. And doing that allows you to actually do this operation. So uh, the left hand side is pretty simple. It's just uh, ln of y. Um, because 1 over y integrates to ln y when it's with respect to y. Now the right hand side is a little bit trickier. We're going to do a u substitution here. Um, so we're going to let x squared plus 1 equal u. And that means that um, du, so differentiate both sides of u equals x squared plus 1, equals 2x dx. And then you can see on the right hand side of our equation inside the integral we actually have an x dx. So if we let that 2 be divided on both sides, you get x dx equals 1 half du. Now that 1 half, since it's just a number, can come right outside the integral. And then you have the integral of 1 over u du, which is a lot simpler. And that simply goes to uh, 1 half ln u plus c. Now that constant there is actually from both sides of the equation, but since it's just a constant, we simply put them together as uh, one constant on the right hand side. Um, now what you want to do next is sub u back in so uh, which is rather simple since u equals x squared plus 1 you finally have after your integrate step you have ln y equals 1 half ln x squared plus 1 plus some constant uh, little c. Now you can see there's absolute value brackets in the ln. Now that's just a um, something you use with the natural logarithm. Uh, it's, it's just something that helps uh, with the lawn. It always is a positive value, so we put those uh, absolute value brackets. Um, now the next thing we want to do is we want to um, we want to solve for the value C so we can sat then satisfy the initial conditions. So if you take, um, if you raise everything to the, or if you multiply e every, by everything, it gets rid of all these uh, natural logarithms we have around. So e to the ln y simply goes to uh, y, or absolute value of y, which is just simply y. And on the right hand side it's a little trickier because we actually have e to the one half ln x squared plus one plus c. Now when you have e raised to the ln and there's actually a value outside the ln, you can bring that up as an exponent which is seen in the second line there. So that one half actually comes up top and becomes uh, ln x squared plus 1 all raised to the one half. Plus c is still associated with that same um, argument raised to the e. Now what you can do there is since something is added together in an exponent, you can multiply it together 
um, just in its, its raw number. So e raised to the ln x squared plus 1 all to the 1 half plus c is the same as e raised to the ln x squared plus 1 half to the 1 half all multiplied by e to the c, which again is just some constant. So what we want to do there is we want to let e to the c, e to the little c, equal large c. Again, it's still a constant. We haven't actually done anything for that. But um, step three is satisfying the initial conditions. Uh, again, x equals 0, y equals 0. So if we want to isolate for that c, like we uh, did in the last slide there, so we know now c equals y minus root x squared plus 1. Now, um, this is where we want to satisfy our initial condition. So we're plugging in x equals 0 and y equals 0. Now what this is going to do is we're going to get capital C or our constant to be 0 minus root 0 plus 1. So you actually have 0 minus root 1, where root 1 is simply 1, it comes out as a minus 1, our constant. So therefore our final y is equal to root x squared plus 1, close the root, minus 1, and that's as simple as it comes when it comes to solving uh, separable DEs. Um, and just remember your three steps, separate, integrate, and satisfy initial conditions if given. If not, um, you would simply just keep the line you see at the top of this slide uh, with respect to some value C as your final answer if no initial conditions were given. Uh, that's all for this tutorial. Uh, if anyone has any questions, feel free to message me and um, I'll try and get back to you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.